Rich, who is the fraudster and how do you recognize them in an organization? That's a great question and it's actually a really easy question to answer. If you want to know who the fraudster is, look at the person sitting next to you the next time you're in class. Look at the person sitting next to you the next time you're at work. Fraudsters look just like we look. We have this idea that maybe they look different, that, that we can go to a lineup and pick out the fraudster. But fraudsters have evolved over the years and fraudsters are now the people we associate with on a regular basis. They're our friends, they're our relatives, they're, all, they're even our family. So we really have a hard time uh, profiling people for fraudsters. They're, they're not always men, uh, they're not always younger people, um, they're anybody and that's what makes it so dangerous is anybody can be a fraudster. Exactly how is fraud defined from a, obviously not from a legal standpoint, but how would most businesses define fraud? We could define fraud as basically a material gain resulting from deception. So uh, am I deceiving someone? Am I pretending I'm someone that I'm not? Am I performing a duty that I'm not supposed to perform? Am I misusing corporate funds? Am I doing anything like that where I'm taking money that isn't mine? Well, in developing ethical leadership, a job maybe of every employee is to try to prevent fraud. And I would assume in most cases uh, it gets reported, uh, usually that's how it's discovered. Someone's willing to step up and, and point their finger at this fraud. Uh, how do you prevent it and what do you do when you see it? And could you even give us some situations uh, that could be real danger areas? Sure. That's the million dollar question. How do we prevent fraud? And there's no definitive answer to that, but, but what I can say about fraud is, number one is creating a culture of honesty and integrity within an organization. That sounds great, but it's very hard to do. How do we create that culture? How do we make sure that we have the right people working for us? These are challenges that companies face on a regular basis. They try to hire the right employees, but what does right mean? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, anyone is capable of committing fraud. Uh, we talk about the fraud triangle, which basically has the three elements to any fraud. And we talk about pressure, opportunity, and rationalization. And unfortunately, anyone can be susceptible uh, to the elements of that fraud triangle. So we really don't know exactly how to create that culture. We, well, there are things we can do. We can have a, have a code of conduct. We can have our code of ethics. We can have corporate training. Uh, we need to train people what to do if they think they've detected a fraud. Most frauds are detected by employees. So you and your job are the most likely person to know what someone else is doing. You need to know what do I do if I think that fraud is going on. Uh, some companies have an anonymous hotline. You can call and report this information. The larger the company, the more likely that they're going to have it. Some companies have suggestion boxes. In the area of technology that we're in now, many corporations have online reporting systems. So it becomes your responsibility as an employee if you think you've identified fraud. We refer to that as predication the likelihood that fraud may have occurred. We don't know it occurred. When we talk about fraud, fraud involves intent. And if someone does something by accident, or if they should have known better but they didn't, then we're probably not talking about fraud. So when we think we've identified a potential fraud, we need to have an investigation. So we may find that some of our coworkers have a corporate credit card and that credit card is only supposed to be used specifically for business expenses. But maybe they're in Walmart one day and they forgot their own credit card or they, by mistake, take out the wrong credit card. They purchase a bunch of groceries and other things that they need. They turn in their expense report and they get reimbursed. Look how easy that was. No one even questioned me. Now you've created that opportunity for a person 
They know they can get away with it. Next thing you know, they're putting gas on their credit card. Uh, they're using that credit card uh, at restaurants that are not business related. And most people that are doing these things are going to tell somebody. And if they tell you, you have an ethical responsibility and duty to your employer to report this information. So your employer needs to set up a system where you know what to do if you think that fraud has occurred. And it may be an anonymous hotline because many people are worried about ratting out their coworkers. Uh, there are safety issues involved. But there has to be some system in place um, if, if we're going to have any type of chance of stopping fraudsters. Thanks, Rich. I think this is very insightful and something that anyone who's going to be an ethical leader has to be right on top of. Thanks.